Punta Gorda, Florida. Sheriff's deputies have responded to a local restaurant for a report of a disturbance between an ex-employee and restaurant staff. The suspect left the area prior to law enforcement's arrival. However, deputies track her down at a nearby trailer park. She just ran that way. She came in here demanding a bag, then said we stole her stuff. She looked really strung out, started breaking stuff in front of our customers. Yeah, she just got out of jail like a week ago. She showed up here when she got out. She worked for like a day, and then um, she left her stuff here, which is like a couple of bags of junk. And then she left, then came back here demanding wanting her stuff. We gave her her stuff. Then she said we took all of her stuff out, which I didn't even go through her stuff. Does she still then, work here? Or? No, she, she doesn't, doesn't work here. She's just Whack. She got some other bags that she had left out back, but then when she came in here, she had the bag, but then started yelling, saying that we took all of her stuff out, dumped it out and put garbage in her bag, and she was demanding her things. Yeah, and those people are all shook up that are sitting at the table. They're probably never going to come here because they think we're a knife and gun club. This is her stuff right here. And she was screaming about a ring from the Ryans, and I called Nicole, and Nicole's like, Kelly, I don't have a ring, but... I asked for um, a Stella, or okay. I'm sorry, a Corona from the line because I'm not feeling the line. And then um, mom needs a nickel truck. Do you know the meaning of perjury? Yes. Perjury can be committed by telling lies or omitting information while under oath. Perjury is a crime in the state of Florida. Do you understand what I've explained to you about perjury? Yes, sir. All right, prior to taking this sworn statement, I'm going to place you under oath. Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the statement you're about to give to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. All right, well, what happened? If it is 2.25 right now, about what time did this incident happen? I would say it was like 1.40, 1.45. Okay, what um, happened? Tiffany came up here. Tiffany, she... do you know her last name? Off the th without looking, do you know what I don't. Okay, no. that's fine. I don't. I'm and sorry. who is she to you? Um, she used to work here, but then she went to jail, so she just got out. Okay. And she had left some of her stuff in the mullet room. Okay. She gave, she brought me this trash bag, and she was like, "You swapped my stuff out for this, and this is just all trash." And I was, I've never seen it before, so I was like, "I don't know, Tiffany. You know, I don't know what you had. I didn't put her stuff away, so I have no idea." And then she was, uh, she was like, "Can you call Kelly?" And I was like, "No." I said, uh, "What would you like me to call her for?" And she said, "Because um, I'm about to cause a." F and then she just threw everything off up here. She broke all the holes and stuff. Like, and then she just ran out the door. Mainly, this in here was just filled with customers. So she just made a big scene in front of all the customers. I have one customer out back that was like crying because I'm so scared. Just so you know, she has she dreaded her hair with some fake hair. So she has like long shit sticking off of her head and like sticking up. She looks not like this. Okay. She looks like a little crazy. I'm pretty sure she's uh, with wherever Joe Watts is at. Do you know where that is? If you go across to here, let me draw a map. Here's 17. Right. Here's the fish house where you're at right now. Across the street is Wilson and Mays. I don't know which one's which, but there's two roads. But when you go across the street, you stay to the right, and then you go to the right, and then the drug house is right there. On the left side? That's where she's at. I guarantee you that's that where she's at. Right or she might be at Jessica Morrison's house, because Jessica Morrison was on the next road right behind that guy like that. Are you familiar with these type of people? We've been having major problems with them lately. One of them came up and stole the bike right in front of us. Shannon went out there and got it from him. He's mentally ill. And then Catfish came and said he was going to kill her. And then, uh, well, anyways, Thursday for Catfish. Tiffany, Catfish, and Joe Watts all run together. And they're all about the same. Okay, you know uh, Jamie Marshall and them down there? Do you Daniel DeRosier, they look right down 17. Yeah. Okay, right across the street from their house is where all those trailers are, Grovewood or whatever. That's where Joe Watts lives. Like, is maybe. that the direction she was headed? Did she yeah. Didn't she go well, that she way? That way. She went oh, she went across the street? Yeah. But she oh, so then she's the at Mike's she house. Just circle around. What's Mike's house? Like? Well, he died, but all the methanites are living in yeah, his house right now. He, Mike, what is his last name? Whitaker. Whitaker. So if you go down that road, there's a big memorial. They, they like, made, I guess, so all the people, they made, like, a memorial. with his Oh, I didn't know that. I gotta yard. go see that. Yeah, it's right in the front yard, uh, in front of the oak tree. Do they have, like, pipes as this? Like, uh, I like, didn't see <laughs> but I seen it when I drove Thomas home last night, and then I backed up just so I could check it out. And it was, like, a big picture of him in a frame. And then it had, like, roses stuck up. Hello. How's it going? Doing well, how are you? Pretty good. Looking for Tiffany. Tiffany? Yeah. One minute. Thank you. She's just getting dressed. Okay, okay cool. Out. What's your name, bud? Rich. Rich? Yeah. How's she doing? How's she doing? Yeah. I guess she's a little upset about a ring or something that was left up somewhere up there, I guess up there at the fish house. It's still there. Is it? Yeah, I just saw it. All right, she, she was upset about that. She said it wasn't where it was supposed to be or something. But she's coming out. She can tell you the story because I don't have a clue. Who is she? You guys are friends? She's just a friend, yeah. Okay. Hey, Morgan. 
So let's watch sex. People coming out of the woodwork here. That's my sister. How you doing? Good. What's she putting on her winter clothes? I don't know. Let me see. What's She's coming. Hi, Miss Tiffany. Hi. Deputy Morgan with the Sheriff's Office. What's uh, I'm investigating a disturbance that happened over the yes, sir. fish house, and I'm trying to get both sides of what happened. Okay, now, so I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. All right. So, um, I just went to jail not that long ago. Okay. And beforehand, I was working up there. And I left this bag, another purse that's still inside, and another purse that was a little camo bag that had a um, hundred and something dollar makeup thing in it, and a ten thousand dollar ring that was found at in the parking lot of Ryan's after he had his 14th anniversary. I I've taken the ring up there, the woman across the street seen the ring, all of them have seen the ring. The ring is real, and um, she knew it was in there. The cop who arrested me, uh, Skolnick, mm -hmm. I sat right there on a tire, and she had called, that woman there, had called um, Shannon Locke on the telephone, and I got on the phone with her because she works up there. Okay. And um, I asked her, I told her, can you have Kelly take my stuff to her house? And not even leave it in that room, because the room at the time, it was the office over there out back. It was never locked. All right, so that ring doesn't need to be there, because it's not locked. And I gave her $92 to give to them. She gave them the $92. It took them a week to give that $92 plus what my friend um, Catfish, I'm sure you guys all know him, um, gave them as well. He gave them $40. It took right, them so a week and a half. So what happened today? What happened so today? what happened today is, is I finally, about two days ago, because I had to tell you that in order to get to here. Okay. About two days ago, I finally went up there to go get my stuff. And I'll be along if Big Pitbull comes walking out of here. Oh, I will be. No, I didn't want you to get all shit out. Coming at you crazy. Oh, I will be. <laughs> and that's its I job. That's why I wanted to forewarn you. She's out there. That's, 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 that's the pit bull's job. Did you guys hear when oh, you the walked up and knocked oh, yeah. on the door? She's just a beast, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, boom. Shit, her name fits her well. It's like the sand, sand lot. Anyway, so she goes, I go, I go, yeah, she goes, oh, can you give us a minute? I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I was just telling you I was going to go out back and get my stuff. I had not, at this point, I was out for like three days at a time. I had not attempted to go get my stuff. I don't know why. Um, the first day I was out, I got dropped off right there and went to work all day for free. <laughs> um, and, uh... Did you see what they're doing now with the uh, Frenchies? Oh yeah, they're Ma crazy, man. Making the Frenchies and the pit bull type mix thing? She's a big girl, ain't she? Yes, she is. For a female, you don't usually see females that big. Yeah. So I just left, and when I went back to get my stuff, I never even attempted to go there without telling her I was going in there. She said, oh, okay. Knowing that the damn the room was locked, you could, I mean, you could see the dead bull going through it. Anyway, I just walked away. I mean, there were two officers inside one <laughs> Okay. I, uh, so this wasn't today? No, this, what happened today was today. Well, you just told me with the two officers. No, 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 that was, um, that was damn like two, three days ago, maybe okay. four. I don't really know, sir. Yeah, how about the, uh, because I, I don't remember Mike, but I remember the older lady that was here. She, yeah, the sister of the girl that's over there. What about oh, her? Oh, Teresa. Teresa, yeah, what happened to her? She's around still, somewhere, mm -hmm. you know. She was living in the woods the last time I heard. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, when I went in there today, I asked Shannon, because she was at, behind the counter, I said, I asked her where my stuff was. She said, I think it's in the mullet room. Mullet room's wide open. It's the room all the way to the left, out back. I go over there, <laughs> nothing in there. So now I'm getting really pissed because I'm already pissed. <laughs> I go back in the air. I say, where the f*** is my shit to his nephew, that other lady's son, and, uh, I think it's in the, uh, the berry room or whatever. I'm like, what f***ing room is this? You know what I mean? Take me the f*** out here and show me my shit. She needs some straight up, like, real mental health. I mean, she's lived this whole f***ing house over a month before they actually took her up there and, uh, had her admitted. I was in my room changing with the door shut. She comes in and just kicks my door open, so I palm the door. You know, come, it's just a reaction. And I didn't see her hand was inside the door on the jam, and it caught her hand. I felt bad. I didn't mean to do that, but I kind of freaked me out. Somebody coming through and pulling my pants up, you know, I'm like, what the f***? Ah, startles her. <laughs> yeah, was it just a natural reaction? I mean... Well, so, it's it, everybody, so I go out there, it's the room all the way to the right, all the way in the back. <laughs> there's this purse, oh, there's this bag, that, the other purse that's inside, and a bag of trash. Because, I mean, I kept, I was allowed to sleep in the office. I couldn't turn the lights on like a f***ing kid, I was allowed to sleep in her f***ing office. And, uh, so I go inside and I say, well, this stuff was out there. I said, but my bag with a, a $10,000 ring in it was missing, but here's this bag of trash. The girl with the long hair takes the bag of trash and goes, oh, it's just a bag of trash? And I went, <sighs> and I slammed everything off the, I slapped everything off the counter, absolutely, absolutely, because <laughs> it's ridiculous.
But I gotta tell you, I do like the uh, bicycle wheel made into a Catholic steering wheel. Isn't that cool? Uh, that's pretty cool. Things people think of. I got it at a yard sale. Really? <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool, man. They wanted five bucks for it. I said, hell, here's yeah, ten. Yeah. It's worth it. Well, I'm just gonna read you these before I ask you any more questions. You're just your rights. You've been arrested. No, okay, yeah, I know. I just, obviously, you know that I gotta read them now that we're talking about it. So then I'm gonna press charges on them as well. well. Let me read this and we'll go further into what you just said, okay? Can I have a lighter, Richie? You have a lighter? Yeah. Please. You're not come going here. any. I mean, hang out here. Can you hear me? I'm all not right? gonna go anywhere. I know. I'm just. I'm not gonna go anywhere. You have the right. That was smart. We've got enough of you around here. Yeah, you have the right you know? to remain silent. Do you understand each of your rights? Absolutely. Do you want to read them yourself? You already read them, honey. I give it's everybody the chance it's to make sure that they read them. Do you have any questions about them? Uh, no. I give everybody the same opportunity. Will you, so, give me, Richie, will you give me a drink, please? Please, please, please. All I have is a remote. I'm dying baby. That ain't gonna help. That's gonna make it worse. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> so, so, taking the stuff off the counter, tell me about that. what was the point of that? Absolutely none. It was jackass. <laughs> Did it break anything or did it just move everything? Mm, I would say that it probably broke something because it sounded like it did because I'm not a liar. <laughs> I'm not a liar and I'm not a thief. I'm not a piece of shit. <laughs> was, but there was, was it was empty. I have everything in the world. Like that bitch has a nice ass house, has nice ass shit, and it, like it's a game. Like my life's a game. Well, it might be whoever the fuck. You gotta drink but, some more Red Bull because there ain't no, I gotta go up and get water. I'm not gonna let you drink water out of the faucet it's just not. I got water to fail. <laughs> So, do you think he broke some of the stuff? I don't know, man. Don't Were there know. other people around? Yeah. Customers and stuff? Mm -hmm. No. Just, uh, just the two girls that worked there, and the only one was standing there when it happened. The other one had her back to me. There, all your stuff is there. I laid eyes on it, including the ring. So, it's... Honey, it's safe. Then why didn't they just give it to me? Not that I can't answer, but it's there, and it will be returned to you. So at least just that piece of mind. It's definitely there. I laid eyes on it myself. Why wouldn't they just give it to me? I, have, I can't answer that. Just why wouldn't they just give it to me? Smoke your cigarette. Hang out right here. Don't go. In, <laughs> don't go inside, okay? All right, that I can't answer. You know, I rode it out in the storm. That last storm we had in this trailer. Me and the dog. <laughs> Uh-uh. She was shaking like a leaf on a tree, and I was I was freaking out. Man, I was absolutely shaking. Too. That's what I said. I was not surprised these trees didn't come down on it. I think those trees protected a lot of it. All right, stand up for me, okay? I'm going to take it. Do you have anything on you? No, but... Your whites? Do I have to? Can I take this whole bag? No. Because it's all whites. Everything in here is whites, man. Everything in here is shit to go to jail. Because I already knew I was going. I didn't my paperwork. All right, just leave it there. Leave it be. All right, let's go. I'll do Don't worry about that. Do you have shoes? Uh, that Bible goes in there too. No. You don't have shoes? No. I gotta give you the white flight. Where's she running off to? To give me white flight. We're not in that big of a hurry. Since she's in a hurry, she runs out in her bra. I don't know who you've dealt with in the past, but I'm not in that big of a hurry. I'm also not going to let you wash them if that's what you're doing either. I'm no, I'll take them away. Well. Not going that quite that slow. Somewhere in between there. All right, we're going to go have a seat. You're getting charged with breach of peace, basically disorderly conduct. You went into an open business, you caused a disturbance. Petty theft from a year ago? From a year ago. Are you on paper or did you flatten uh, it out? Well, I ran for a year and I went on paper for about eight months and uh, I never Violet. showed up. Yeah. Never even went because I shouldn't have been on paper for a petty theft. So you're off. You're not on paper anymore. Though? No. At least you flattened it out. and You're not violating nothing. <laughs> what? Imagine if they're free of you. <laughs> you never know. You never know what you're doing. With. No, you guys know. <laughs> Stay right here. I'm gonna pat you down before right. we go in. Nothing on you. No. Nothing in you. No. I asked because I've just recently dealt with that again. So. Definitely not. Uh, I already knew where I was going. <laughs> I'm gonna put your seatbelt on. I appreciate that. Most people drag as much shit in there as they can. <laughs> hey, I'm not fucking, I'm not rude, man. Like, I am a decent person, really. Well, I never thought otherwise. Um, but that bag of my stuff up there, up at the fish house. Up at the fish house. Yeah, who, because I'm not, Who are those people? Do you trust those I people? I don't know. I'm absolutely not, and I would like I to... I don't mean the people at the fish house, I mean the people here. Mm. You really can't trust anybody. Oh, I agree. I'll ask one of these other deputies to go retrieve your stuff, and we'll take absolutely. it with us. Absolutely. Thank you very much. They don't need to sign a trespass, right? Anymore? Whether it's good or bad or happy or sad.
I, I, want, I want catfish um, trespassed as well because catfish also told us he's coming to kill us all. He was not there. Was there another bag? I thought she said, I thought she, was it Shannon? Oh, yeah. So there's another bag? She took all of her bags. She threw a bag of trash out. Listen, that's it. That's okay, the okay. I just wanted to make sure there's yeah. nothing else for her no, to like, come back. She had a bag. Uh, oh, and by the way, she broke things. She broke the other bowl yes, and she the, threw we, things we at Alyssa. The other deputy took the sworn statements and everything else. I was getting the impression that you guys didn't have basis to arrest her. Oh, no. Like I said, she's you in the back of his like car that. right now with uh, handcuffs mm -hmm. on her way to... Charlie well, County. once I get drop this off, she'll be on her way to Charlie County Jail. But this is it? Yep. All right. all stuff. But like I said, they're waiting on me to get back over there. All right. And I hope that we uh, fulfilled something for you, okay? Because like I said, we got the arrest, we got our trespasses, what all you right. want to do, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. This is just paperwork, right? Yeah. Paperwork. Your trespass. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Mother. That ring better be in here. This is the ring? Yeah, Okay. Thank you. No problem. That ring? That's her ring. So you got your stuff? Thank you. No problem. Not a, not a completely bad day, right? Not completely. <laughs> Gotta look on the bright side. That's what I'm trying to do all the time. You are 21 for the police car parking with the city of the Thank you.